The flag is waved over the start line. We are underway here at the Hands Reserve Velodrome for the Fast Cats Racing Velodrome Experience. Hey everybody, I am here at the Fast Cats Racing Velodrome Experience. This is pedal pre trike racing and it's uniquely Australian. You don't get this anywhere else in the world. And this experience today, where we are today, is uniquely South Australian. You don't get this event anywhere else in Australia. We have people here from 10 year old kids to 70 year olds racing. It's amazing, it's such a fun event. I'm gonna go around, introduce you to people, get an experience, get a feel for it, and later on, I'm gonna be racing. I don't know. <laughs> I'm nervous, keep watching, and see how it all goes. The flag is out, it is waved. Week two is complete now with the glass trikes making their way around past the start and finish line. Let's get those trikes back into the pits and uh, get the riders in ready for heat three. I've got Case in here. Now you've been riding for a year. A year. Yeah. This is my first year riding. I've wanted to do this ever since I was year three. I really love that like, it's an endurance sport and it helps me my football. I got into racing but my dad does hill climbs. He's done it for over 10 years. Other kids like your age, like, should they get into country? What would you say to them? If they want to get in the pedal green, it's a really fun sport. You can get a lot of endurance and a lot of sport for racing. You can mostly do it with friends, family, if you're in high school and you can't get a pedal free team because um, that high school doesn't have a pedal free team. You can always join Fast Cats because Fast Cats Racing is the one, is the one team that you are able to join because um, the, it's the adults and teenager racing. Have you got any tips for me? Because I'm going to be racing today for the first time ever and what, have you got any tips for me? The tip, one of the tips is that first strike crosses the line, you can push. And that's when the race starts. So the first strike crosses the line, that starts. Please. One of the mechanics? Yeah, one of the mechanics at uh, Fast Cats who do all the looking after the bikes and the maintenance on them. And I'm also the vice president. And the vice president is important. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> so, what is a trike? I mean, I've never seen one before. And I think many of the viewers have yeah. never seen one before. How does it work? What does it look like? Basically, a trike is a three-wheeled vehicle. Um, and you're more in the laid back. You're not sitting up as like a bike. So it's totally laid back. We run the chassis itself, is a full length chassis, and you have your front wheels, two front wheels at the front, and the wheel at the back with the brakes. We only have front brakes, they're drum brakes on the front. The gears, they're a friction gear. So very similar to the bike that it has a cassette on the back, and these are nine speed bikes. And we run with a single chain ring on the front, which is an 80, it can go from 75 to 80. Chain ring. The steering is a bit different. We have steering on these ones which go from side to side and they have a lock spot on there. So it's basically if you want to go left, it's just pull back. And if you want to go right, pull back then again. Have a horn. <laughs> have a horn in there which is very important um, we also have side mirrors on the inside just to be able to see what's coming up behind you a lot of this stuff is very strict and very regulated by the OAP so every time we have a race it's got to get scrutinised and scrutiny to make sure it passes and the a lot of it has got to do with your own cadence once you build up that speed just being able to keep the speed up with your cadence into top gear and so what speed are people doing out there, the fast the, ones? The, the quickest guys would be do anywhere between 60 to 65. Kilometres an Kilometers hour. Kilometres an hour. Wow. So, and on an average race, if it's a six an hour race, some of the teams will average between 55 to 60 k's for a six hour race total. So that's a lot of leg power. They are different to what you do when you're riding a bike because in these, when you're, you're riding, you're using more of your 
your front muscles of the leg to be able to push the bike to get the speed up. Is where the normal road bike you're using more of your back legs, different muscles. Is where these ones you're using a few more different muscles to get it going. And you're lying right back. Yes, so you are. You are, back. You are oh. lying right back. I have a headrest here, so it's got a headrest adjustment. You can see that obviously goes down in size to fit different size riders. Can I have a sit in it? And you see can. I'm going to be racing later, but let's have a little try right now to get a feel for so it. So when you step into these, step onto the seat first. So grab hold of that, step onto the seat. So I stand on here. There. And then once you've done that, stand on the bar there. Stand on the bar? Yes, yeah, so you can put your foot on that bar. And okay. then hold on and then slide yourself down and slide the other foot forward. Like that. And then lie back. Yeah. They're basically a four-way harness seat belt, and that's part of the regulations of what you have to have in the trike. It's like a kid in a car seat. Yep, and then we adjust them from here. But this has always got to stay here because we find if you don't do that and it rides up too much to there, if you do have it. Awesome. Well... I shall see you in a couple of hours when yep. I do some racing. You can set me up in the in the one. Yep, no worries. Awesome. Thank okay. you. <laughs> so when you step out. Uh, yeah, how do I get out? So when it? you get out, you bring your foot onto there again. So it's a bit of yep, yeah, keep your foot there. And then you basically lift yourself up using that. And other foot and then up here. Up, foot or? There, up, up there and then push up and then step back on the seat. Is it strong enough? Like it, yeah, oh, yep, that's, they're, they're that's, rigid. That's strong enough to hold yeah. me and push down on Some it. Some are made purely just from fiberglass, but these have a bit of carbon fiber in them as well, which you can see on the inside of it. You can see the carbon fiber and also the fiberglass. So it's firm, but it's strong. It's, it's firm, but it's strong. Yeah, Some yeah. of the new ones have got Kevlar in them as well, yeah. a band of it. So they're, they're, they're quite strong bikes. Yeah. Awesome. All right, well, I'll see you before the race. <laughs> Sorry, you <laughs> girl. <laughs>
well, scot free. In fact, you just keep going like it's nothing, really. What do you love about it? It's, it's just such a unique sport, and like it puts so many different things together where so many different people can be put together. So, like, there's the athleticism part, there's the racing part, there's the engineering part, there's the organizational part. Um, so, I love, I just love the pure speed. So, you just get to go super fast. Um, and there's so much happening. So as a top rider, you're going a lot faster than others. So you have to weave through traffic and you have to pick lines and then you have really riding on the edge of trying to not roll over is sort of the fun part about it. And that's what I enjoy, but it's also like, yeah, you get to see people, like a lot of cyclists, a lot of top end cyclists actually started doing this sport. So Steel Von Hoff, who won the Commonwealth Games gold medal, he actually started in the sport then moved into cycling and there's a lot of people who follow the same sort of trajectory. And what is it that makes people do this rather than the regular cycling? It's a completely different position. So although like, yes, he's still using the legs, it's a different type of muscle group. You have to be really focused on like the training side and then focused on like how you corner it. And so there's a whole bunch of different things that makes it well, very different to cycling and you have to always be focused on it. And what would be your advice to other people who might be thinking about trying it or should they get into it? No, absolutely. Like, you can get in it at all ages. Um, you should definitely, you, if you see them riding around Victoria Park, you could go up and have a closer look, um, but you should definitely give it a shot at least once in your life. Like, there's nothing feels better than when you're laying super flat you don't have to really worry about your back hurting or anything you're just laying down and then you're like oh i've got to turn and there's just something weirdly addictive about it all. It's very fun and it's not scary when you're out there. It is very like nerve wracking when you're like just getting ready to get into the bike. But when you're out there, you'll be like fine. Do you get really hot in the car? In yeah, the car? I didn't have any of my um, windows open. Like we, ha I had the side of my window open. Right? My, hand my handlebars were wet by the end of my because yeah. you know, sweating. <laughs> um, I'm pretty sure in like other tracks, there's like a little hole at the front of it to get fresh air. In. But it does get very hot. Once you get out there, it's so much fun. The race is going to start soon, and I'm <laughs> racing. Like you yeah. said, like you kind of, because you're looking through these windows and you're just going, right, next 
one, next one, next one. Yeah, it's like, and it's cool. Right. Shout out to Ken for sitting us up. Got to like my gym. Sorry, to come down now. Alex is part of Fast Cats Racing and has been for four years. Yeah, and he's also one of the MCs today. And the other one is John, so it's Alex and John. I just have to throw that in. That's fine. That's all we got. Get a bit of a laugh out of it. Yeah. So, what is the race all about? Okay, so at the moment we're in our final round of the handicap finals. It's um, a 20 lap race, or 20, 20 minute race I should say. Um, fastest rider from each of the six races that we've had so far go into the Div 1, Div 2 and Div 3 handicap finals at the end of the day. So it's basically 20 minutes of pure adrenaline, pure power, you know, as fast as you can, and get as many laps in in that 20 minute ride. And then somebody goes home later in the day, depending on who from here, they go into the next one. We've got off the track. That's correct, yeah. So the fastest rider from each team out of the six races makes it into the handicap finals at the end of the day. Now, you can be the first one to start, you can be the middle to start, the last one to start, but it's whoever gets 20 laps done the quickest takes out the win in that division. Do you race? I do, yeah. I race in um, Top Cat, which is uh, Fast Cats Racing Masters team. And well, lucky enough, um, this has been our best year so far. We've actually um, won all four rounds of the series so far, and um, hopefully, fingers crossed, we can put it together and take the win in the 24 hours in September. It's a mad run. It's insane. To you know that, you know, my 50 year old legs can get me cruising at 60k an hour in something so low to the ground in amongst the rest of the trucks down the track. Yeah, it's exhilarating. Trying, and he is responsible for building 90% of the trikes that are here, right? You've yeah. made them, yeah. and, and you're one of the biggest builders or manufacturers of the trikes in Australia, and probably the one in South Australia. Yeah, over the last 10 years, Trump's been making trikes. So, yeah, there's probably about 350 around Australia now. You make these, I find yeah. it like, yep. That's incredible. From the carbon all to the chromoly roll frames and all that, old chassis, everything's made in here. So I do batches of five and about three months to make five of them. See, it's a sport that you don't have to be the fittest, you don't have to be the greatest. I actually had a mate who couldn't really walk, he had crutches and stuff, so... But there's a big part of this sport, it's about giving people opportunities in the pits and doing all the signboards or the vinyl wrapping and all that stuff. You don't have to be the fittest and you don't have to be the greatest, so it's just giving people opportunities, which football and basketball don't do. Yeah, I raced for the last 18 years, and then I have a young family, and I've bought the business off Simon, who is the creator. In the Australian series, I run four teams. And yeah, just trying to get back to the sport, and it's a good chance to get R&D products out on the track and test them in house yeah. before I release them to the market. You build them, you run the teams, you help kids yeah, get into it. Out. Don't ask my missus, she doesn't like it. <laughs> So do you build them specifically for sizes? Because everyone's a different size. Like, what about really tall people, really short people, kids? Yeah. They're very versatile. We've got, yeah, obviously every headrest of Trump is adjustable, and then there's adjustable boom we make too. So, so obviously, you can move forward and backwards to where you want to reposition. Right, as this is an adult bike, there's not much adjustment, but yeah, for the school trikes, we have an adjustable boom too. So. Um, obviously not in this model, it's top of the range, but our base models have all adjustable boom and everything. So we try and keep them simple. I quite like to call it dummy proof, because if you try and build them too complex, no one can work on them or anything. So no, I try and keep them simple. So the eyes turn to you, and looking at some of the faces of kids and parents and riders around, I think most of you did. That's excellent. Uh, we've been blessed with the weather, and it looks like we're going to hold off until we just finish that up. That'll be perfect. Um, the other thing I want to say is how good the Fast Cats Racing Group is. I mean, there we are, we're setting things up. I just say to one of them, oh, this is doing, boom, it's done. Oh, this is done. Who says, oh, this is done. It's done. Thank you to Fast Cats Racing people. You have contributed to making this race a success, and I certainly appreciate it. All right, here we are. Down from the last one, guys. So, who's going to speak to the championship top three for the day? In third place, competing 97 laps, Nanya. 
He's second place, completing 99 laps, short racing. And your 100 lap state champion winners, Evo Racing. an amazing event oh my goodness i've had so much fun if you haven't tried pedal pre and trike racing you have to come and try it but i'm here with fergie and kernsey they are responsible for this whole event for fast cats racing Drone yeah, experience. Yeah. How did this come about? During COVID, we were given the challenge of not having any events today up here to shut all this down. So we came up with the idea of racing the Valley Drone here. We developed a, a handicap race. And since then, it's grown to include, we saw today, the 100 lap championship race for the super fast good guys. And yeah, it's gone from there. You've got people from 10 years old through to 70. 68. 68. Who's 68. the oldest? Who, is that, is that's it you? Me. That's yeah. you. <laughs> he's, he's the oldest. It yeah. sounds better when I say 70. Can you be 70? I'll be 70 for a minute, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. But that's amazing. And you know what I love is that just being here today, it's not an event where the parents are doing it and the kids are watching it, or the kids are doing it and the parents are watching. Everyone's involved. Absolutely. The kids are involved, the, the parents, the family. It's, it's amazing. Like, it's very... Yeah. I'm glad you mentioned the parents because we really came up with the idea of the, of the female race and they are predominantly they're all parents yeah. that race today. It's their first time they've ever raced. So that was a huge event. It was really, really good. Talking about the family, we had a husband and wife who both rode and their two sons both rode. Today. And, yeah. Today. Yeah. And they've all enjoyed themselves and all been successful. AIPP started in South Australia. And what does AIPP stand for? AIPP stands for the Australian International Pedal Crew. And they're the uh, endurance racers, and we compete in them. There is no race that they run like this, where it's sh short 20-minute races, which helps decide your position in the handicap final. And it means, in the handicap final, anyone can win. And like uh, you would have observed, some of our finishes today were just seconds apart. It's a unique event, and it's something that uh, they enjoy, and I enjoy being involved, and I also enjoy organising. And I know Kunji enjoys the organising. And our Fast Cats Racing Group, they are all so helpful, all so united, all so committed, all so, um, well, they're a family. We believe that we uh, contribute positively to the kids from Modbury High School, who are um, the main link to it. But, also to all the students, like we've got primary schools that we're linked to. The Fast Cats team is, is I think you've, you've had a little bit of experience with someone like someone they're like, they're so inviting and so good to work with. You ask, you or can almost ask anyone to do anything and they just drop whatever you know. You know it's, it's a great team that's put this together on what happened today. And yeah, they work really well together. So if people want to get involved with any, any age group, I suppose, adults, children, if they want to get involved and do people Check out fastcatsracing.com. Oh, yeah. It's a great place to start. It doesn't mean they've got to do it through Fastcat. They can choose to do it through their own organisation. For example, Hope Christian School started uh, involvement in Pedal Free this year. We've supported them, but they're doing it themselves. So they can get in touch with you first and then you can connect them with the right yeah. people. And you have people coming from not just South Australia, but from outside of oh, South Australia three, now. Yeah, three Victorians today. Our yeah. next race is the 24-hour race. Run by AIPP at Murray Bridge, yeah. and that will be on the uh, 21st and 22nd of September. We'll be having eight trikes in that at least, and I, at that race we host a team from Western Australia. Duncraig Senior College send a team over here, and we they come and share our pits. We uh, provide them with the pit access, or the mechanics, and all that. We even provide them with a trike to race in. They've been racing in West Australia. They come over and do the race, and that's one way we support them. They call themselves the Fast Cats Racing West Australian Brand. A lot of the teams you competed with today would have used this as a training run for the Murray Bridge Race, which is coming out in a couple of weeks. Your crew won a place in the race, didn't they? Yes, she's is holding the, the camera right. right. Yeah. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> so, so your camera crew is a well, good one, eh? <laughs> and beat you as well. <laughs> ah. <laughs> one thing I want to say is the combination of Fast Cats Racing and Woodbury High School is actually unique. Yeah. If someone asked me, where does Modbury High School finish and Fast Cats Racing start, or vice versa, I could not tell you. And yet I've been involved with them right from the start, and I am one of the main operators within it. And I can't tell you where the uh, division line is, because it's just a really... I mean, people talk in corporate world about synergy. 
and we have got a real synergy. The kids at Modbury respect Fast Cat, the people at Fast Cat support Modbury, and we just keep going, I believe, from strength to strength. And that combination means that basically we're one team, right? And like at one race this year, first trade and Ben, I think it was, no, Victoria Park, we fielded 12 tries between us. And that is phenomenal. 12 tries racing at one event um, is, it makes us basically, I think, the largest team in the world. Yeah, that's amazing. Yeah. Yeah. I love that it is completely community. So, And that was really evident today that this is not just about adults coming together or some kids coming together separately, but all together as a community. And I think working together with the school, So, and it's, it's the belief, I suppose, of the school saying we believe in what you're doing and saying we want to bring the kids on board and you're working together. Um, it's not separate. And it's so evident here. So I think this is the first event that I've ever been to in my life where I've witnessed that firsthand, where it is, it's a complete community event um, where everyone's involved and everyone's treated equally and respected for what they do. And, and that think, would include the external teams as well and external, amazing. external primary school teams. Yeah. They, they all kind of yeah, it's absolutely amazing. I think what you've created is incredible, actually. It's, um, and I hope to see it grow bigger and bigger. And speaking to you, getting to know you, is that you've driven this and you've been actively driving it and involved in it and making it happen and it takes people like you who, who care about it, who understand how it works to keep making it happen and putting it out there and building those networks and those connections, having the school believe in it. And I think um, this is you know, this is what cycling's about. This is the future of, of what we want for our lives and our children and our communities. Yeah. And I think you you some of our competitors, including me, who the kids uh, train 100 kilometres a week on their, on their bike or on their personal trainers. We had one guy here today that did 200. Oh, hang on, that's one of your guys. Yeah. <laughs> 200 k's a week, apparently. Yeah. So it goes hand in hand with cycling. Yeah, yeah, that's a, actually, yeah, as a cyclist, it was easy to jump in yeah. and then, yeah, yeah and overcome my claustrophobia. <laughs> well, I, I've been asked what is really the goal of Fast Cats Racing and Modbury High School together, and I've always said it's to help people make healthy life choices because cycling is a healthy life choice. And I know that since I've started cycling, I'm healthier and fitter than I was before, that's for sure. Right? I'm saying I live to 103 now. That, that's Not far to go, you only have a couple of years, couple years. years. <laughs> <laughs> I love that. I love that. Thank you both so much. Thank, oh, thank you for you. the incredible experience, for sharing all of this. And, um, yeah, we'll be back. Good. We'll be thank, back. thank you for coming. You. And we, we are really, really wrapped that you enjoyed your day.